Ntop offers many tools to help lightweight your parts. We recently released new ribbing tools to help you lightweight while stiffening your parts. Hello everyone, Yuki from Ntop, and I want to show you how you can use Ntop's new ribbing tools to lightweight a drones panel by adding ribs and finding the best design by creating a computational design workflow. Let's dive right in. Our goal with this drone is to lightweight it to reduce power consumption and increase flight efficiency while ensuring that the panel meets performance requirements such as being reliable under frequent use and adverse weather conditions. With Ntop, we can create a computational design workflow to help us iterate through various ribbing parameters to understand the trade-offs between weight and performance with each input parameter to zero in on an optimal design. To start, we're going to build our workflow. We can first import our assembly and isolate the geometry that we want to focus on which in this case will be the panels inside of our drone. We'll then convert it to an implicit Ntop's native format. We're going to run a simulation first. In Ntop, you can drive your designs using simulation data. With our simulation, we're going to use the displacement results to drive our ribs height. Once we have our simulation complete, we can then start building out our ribbing workflow. Using our new ribbing tools, we're going to bring out the graph by cylindrical projection. This creates a graph on the surface of an implicit body with a cylindrical projection. Within this block, we can define the type of 2D unit cell we want to use when creating our ribs. You have the option to choose from rectangular, triangular, hexagonal, diamond, or face-centered square. We can then define the body we want to create the graph on. Add a plane to define the orientation of the mapping, then define the cell size and arc count of our graph. Now once we have our graph created, we can create our ribs from the graph. Within the ribs from graph block, we can insert the graph we created. Then insert the rib region. We can define our height, thickness, and direction of our ribs. You also have the option to add draft angles to your ribs as well. Now before moving on to the next step, I want to focus on the height of our ribs. As mentioned earlier, we ran a simulation. Using the displacement results from our simulation, we can use that to drive the height of our ribs. We placed a larger rib height where there's high displacement and a lower rib height in low displacement. Now once we have our ribs finalized, we can then union it back to the panel and generate our final part. Lastly, using intact solutions, we can run a meshless linear static structural analysis to get our results based on our load cases for our application. Now with our workflow finished, we can now test different designs of the ribs and compare each iteration with the results from our structural analysis. We can pull out variables we want to change to compare results when using different unit cells, the thickness, and the height. By changing the inputs of our variables, we can quickly iterate through our ribbing parameters to see which changes impact our weight versus performance. Once we have found our optimal design, we can mesh it and export it out to third-party software to further validate our design. Once the design has been validated, we can export it out from Ntop as a mesh or export it as an implicit and import into third-party printing software such as Magix, EOS, Autodesk Fusion, or any of our implicit interop partners to import without meshing and get it out to manufacture. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can create a computational design workflow to lightweight a drones panel with Ntop's new ribbing technology. Thank you. If you want to learn more about how you can create a computational design workflow in Ntop, check out our computational design page to learn how you can create one for your designs. If you think this could help improve your current workflow, request a demo and speak to an Ntop expert. Thank you.